Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Spiritual Healing and Spellbooks 101. Guys, I've been gone for a while, apologies, been super busy. As usual, you'll see me with my book, looking down and looking back. I don't want to miss a beat with you guys in my teaching. So, in today's teaching that I want to share with you guys, and if it resonates with you, and you think you know of anyone that might need it, I, I implore you, please share the vids, and like and subscribe, hit the notification. I'm all about teaching and inspiring people. And I think we all need that right now, you know. So anyway, guys, for today, um, finding your spirit guide. It's like having a personal compass, a personal anchor in your life, and we all need it. And to obtain this, it again comes down to communication and opening yourself up to those channels that are, that are out there for you. Firstly, we all have at least one spiritual guide, at least one, that is constantly with us. Um, throughout our lives, some of them come and go depending on your situation, your time in life and your growth and what it is you need. Often it's an ancestor or even someone else. And what you need to know is how to hear them because they're already there. And to open your vibrational channel, your, your spiritual ears to them is to be in touch with your instincts, to learn to let go of fear. And I have some words in it, guys, you need to let go of fear. Um, you need to practice meditation. And I'm going to do another vid soon on a powerful morning routine to awaken your, your spirit. And this helps you to hear them better and more clearly. So guys, firstly, they know you. They've got your back. Um, obviously, some don't. And in your communication with them, you will start to soon learn who has your back. And the ones who have your back actually know you better than you know yourself. Which is why I encourage you to follow their guidance. So when you get to that level, guys... Um, you'll generally feel a drop in temperature. You'll feel like an uncomfortable sensation in you, coupled with a bit of fear, coupled with that just deep instinct that you know that's the decision to make, that decision that makes you uncomfortable, but it's keep on nudging you. That's the one that's them talking to you. And when your communication and their presence is more powerful, like I said, you'll feel a drop in temperature. You will feel a bit uncomfortable because it's two realms interacting now. So don't be afraid of that. And... When you can, you can learn to astral project. That is a way more powerful technique. Um, you often can't last up there long, but take that few minutes if you get there and invite them down to earth. They don't mind actually. You can spend more time with them communicating on earth, getting to know who's who, uh, who really has your back also. Um, but to, to start with guys, it's meditation. Concentrate and visualize on what it is you want and be very clear about putting it out there daily. Make it a routine, not a once off. And once it becomes a spiritual muscle memory process with you, things will start to kick in. You will start to hear and understand them so much better. Guys, I hope you practice this out. This helps and pass it along. Till next time, guys. Cheers.